Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian, and welcome back to Hearts Prime 4 as we are playing with the French Empire in the Law Resistance expansion. Alright, guys, so uh, no long intros in this one because this is going to be a slightly shorter episode. So you guys won't have to try and skip past my talking and figure out where the gameplay starts because it's starting now. So let's go ahead and jump into it and uh, get some some Iberians conquered, man. Alright, so we're losing that attack, so let's just go. Oh, we won it. Okay. I was expecting to lose that. Oh, they must have not have been able to reinforce in time. All right, well, I probably shouldn't have messed with that. It's too late now. I already did. Uh, so we got Logistic Company 3s. Again, these are going to be really helpful uh, in South America. Uh, so we're, we're pretty much done here. We could always get the next Recon. Uh, you know, Reconnaissance... Reconnaiss reconnaissance is helpful. It helps get you more intel. But as we've already discussed before, the intel is already uh, pretty easy to get. Uh, the main thing it does, though is it uh, makes your generals better at picking tactics. Uh, but again, the tactics are just, uh, they're not that important. They're, they're a slight bonus. They help. Most definitely they help. Uh, but for the most part, I've noticed that you can do that with just one level of reconnaissance, uh, typically. Uh, so that's the reason why I don't usually get those. Uh, we do want to get maintenance companies as well, but I mean, there's like so much other stuff to get. Uh, the maintenance companies like the... I mean, it gives us the ability to capture uh, more equipment, uh, but the reliability is only so helpful. I mean, it's it's a five percent bonus. It's you know useful, but yeah, I just I just find that there's there's a lot better stuff to get. Uh, so I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get the next mechanized, uh, I believe. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that, guys. There's a lot of stuff we gotta get. Those there's so much to research to do in this game now. Uh, before I remember, it was always like you would typically find yourself in 1944 not knowing what the hell to research. Uh, not anymore though, man. Now it takes forever to get through all the damn techs. If you're trying to focus on like land, sea, and air. Now if you just focus on one, or maybe even two of those, then you typically can, you know, get what you need. Uh, but yeah, I find that it's like really difficult. We're gonna go ahead and extend this out. I find that it's incredibly difficult uh, to get, uh, you know, all the techs now. All right, so we could probably win here. I mean, this division's pretty weak, so maybe not. But yeah, looks like we can. All right, we'll push it forward then. Uh, then we're gonna go ahead and push forward here as well, I guess. Uh, but frankly, we don't have enough divisions over here. I would like to bring more. We have one coming now, um, but I'm thinking about bringing some of these divisions here over to there. I don't know how many we currently have assigned uh, to these fronts. Let's just take a look. Uh, so we currently have five divisions there and uh, two divisions here. So we do need more. However, we're about to finish this up here, so that'll free up divisions. This is what we'll do. We're All gonna bring this guy, have him come over to this way, because, yeah, obviously we need at least uh, four divisions if we want to cover every province. So that's four divisions there. One, two, three, four, five. Five divisions here, uh, which we already have five divisions assigned there. Uh, so at the very least, we want nine divisions. I'm thinking like 12 total would probably be good, right. maybe. And then the rest of these guys can move elsewhere. Although I'm not entirely sure... Okay, so this is actually like a very defensive situation here. Okay, so what we might want to do is that some of the guys placed in like a completely different army here. Yeah, I think that's what's going to be required, guys. Because I'm, I'm worried about them moving over to one of those fronts. You know, that it happens, guys. It happens all the time, so I just don't want any issues. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and check all around the world to wherever these divisions are and make sure that they are all, I guess this guy can go over here to this army. Yeah, but make sure they're all divisions that we, we're fine with them, you know, moving, uh, you know, to the to one of those fronts. Uh, like these guys, we don't want them to move. I know they don't have a general here, guys. Maybe we'll get one assigned later. Uh, but right now, none of these divisions are actually being attacked. So we're looking for divisions that are entrenched up. All so right. this guy here, uh, let's go and send him over here. Oh, we already did. All right, so he's on his way there now. Let's take a look. That's guy, that guy's That guy right there, and then the one in Madagascar. So that should be all of them, hopefully. So we're currently at 15 divisions. And so I'm thinking of invading with 12. Let's just take a look, see how many divisions they currently have. Uh, we might not be able to see that. Uh, maybe we'll have a guess. No, we don't even have an estimate there. All right, so we have no idea how, how many divisions I currently have. We can look on the front, and good God, man. It's windy uh, today here again, guys, so the banging is going to continue. Uh, we've had some shitty weather uh, over the last few days. You know, we had uh, a little bit of snow. It wasn't much, though, guys. Uh, it was mostly rain, uh, but in other parts of the city, they did have snow. 
Uh, so they had a bit of snow there. And yeah, it's just been shitty weather for like four or five days now, guys. Like, uh, just windy and rainy and wet and just, yeah. It's March. Spring has begun, guys. Spring has begun. And it's like incredibly uh, windy in our area. Uh, like, blowing over our fence and stuff like that. You know, just, oh, oh damn it, we lost here. Me trying to be a smart ass and get a win here, and we're actually gonna lose territory. Though it looks like that division's about to get there, so I suppose it's fine. Alright, uh, so let's just take a look, see uh, what we've done over here. Sunk another destroyer. Got convoys sunk. Yeah, this is looking good. Destroyers. Yeah, lots of uh, British destroyers. And they're still attacking us up along here. Nice, two more destroyers and six convoys. Still attacking us over here, throwing away their manpower and stuff. I think that's pretty foolish of them, but we'll let them do it. Let's go and attack over this way. We just need more troops over here, man. These guys are just not uh, moving because of the uh, you know the supply issues. Uh, I'm not going to get a win there, so we'll just stop it. Hmm, I wonder why there is so many damn supply issues. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure why we're facing such bad supply problems here. I know there's a lot of troops here, uh, so that's part of it. But So, Peru has actually decided to join our faction. So, now we just need one more independent country. And then we'll get another operative. Yeah. Alright, awesome. Uh, so, these guys want to join the wars. We're going to tell them no, but we will go ahead and accept the non-aggression pact in Uruguay. Uh, and we've gotten another Soviet submarine sunk. Okay, uh, so we got a division over there to, to save that province so we didn't lose that, so that's very good news. Let's go and take a look at the situation here, make sure they're not doing any attacks that we need to react to, which they are not. Uh, we're gonna tell Bulgaria, well, we should have told Bulgaria they could join all of our wars. Yeah, we're fine with them coming into the conflicts. And uh, non aggression pack from the Bahamas. Okay, I imagine they're gonna get hit by the Americans if they haven't already. Uh, no, this is our territory. Oh, nope, they've taken it. Uh, so I think this was our province, but it's not anymore. Not mistaken. No, we're still the controller. I don't know why when I click on it, it said America. Yeah, that's strange. Hmm, not entirely sure why that is. Uh, but yeah, I imagine they're going to try and conquer that territory. I'm surprised they haven't got this done yet. I didn't send any divisions over there. I thought they would get it done, but so far, they have not uh, finished it. They haven't completed it just yet. All right, so we're winning there. Uh, we need to thicken this up a bit. And I hate that we keep on attacking this way. We don't have divisions to support us here. Uh, but yeah, there's just nothing to be done about there. They're just taking their sweet time moving over here. Uh, the Green Army is not even coming over here, because of, again, because of the supply issues. Uh, I'm surprised we're not getting, like, maybe can we get some... No, nah, because it's going to come through the land, isn't it? Just trying to figure out a way we can get better supply here. Hey, I'm not entirely sure how we can. Maybe because we don't have... Well, we do have control of it. We can go through here. Hmm. I guess we can build it up one level here. Let's see if that helps. And just take that up to the top. I don't know how much effect that'll end up having. We can also build the naval base up here one step and see if that helps too. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do about the supply guys. It's uh, really short here and causing us lots and lots of issues right now. Alright, so we're about to get Valencia. And still, we're just stretching our fronts out. This is so stupid. I <laughs> shouldn't be doing this this way, guys. All right, let's go and attack over this way, try and get these guys defeated. Just, we need to thicken this front up, frankly. Uh, I wonder if we could get a win here. Probably not. I mean, the supply is just so bad. I don't know if we can get a win there. No, we can't. Let's see if there's anywhere we can attack here. Once we finish up this defense, let's go ahead and launch an attack here now, guys. Uh, so we're going to want to attack. Probably avoid the fort. That'd be for the best. All right, so let's send those divisions in there. It looks like it should be an easy win. Attack over on that side too, just kind of keep the pressure on them on all sides. And we just need more divisions over here. We did attack Valencia, which has given us uh, the military factories from there. Uh, and this is our current situation as far as logistics go. Uh, we have a uh, still shortage of medium and light tanks, but we have solved most of the shortages there. Uh, the artillery shortages have pretty much been solved as well, so we're doing much better. But yeah, this is really the only thing limiting us from, from building more troops, because we have plenty of manpower, but we're still short on, on many types of equipment, guys. But you know what? We're going to put this into naval bombers because we actually have major naval bomber shortages. Uh, so the way we'll solve this, since we are having so, much, so many naval bomber shortages, let me just go through here and uh, get rid of these. We're going to put some uh, close air support here because I think this is 
where we're losing planes. I mean, I don't really know for sure where exactly we're losing planes. I mean, we're losing here as well, I guess. We could always put them there, but let me just take a look to see how many we got. Okay, so we are taking some heavy losses here. Uh, so what we'll do is we're going to move some close air support here then and uh, have them do naval bombing. Uh, just try and take the pressure off of our guys a little bit. You know what? We could use some fighters here too. I think that would help quite a bit as well. Uh, let's go ahead and move close air support here and have them do the naval bombing. And then we could bring some fighters over here as well. I think we have some. Maybe. Uh, it might just be the old fighters, perhaps. Ah, uh, yeah, it's just old fighters. Yeah, I guess we can put them out there, but yeah. They're just, it's just not that useful, having those old old fighters there. Uh, could move some more close air support here. Um, and actually just step up these 100. I know they're going to lose some of their experience, but I think that's probably a better way to do it. Try and help us out over there. And uh, looks like we also sunk two American convoys there. What are the Americans doing? They're not doing invasions, are they? Ooh, maybe. They're moving somewhere. I'm not seeing any invasions here, but maybe they're... Hmm. I don't know where the hell they're going. Yeah, I don't know where those guys are going. That's concerning, though. All right, so... These guys are now coming up to this front. Okay, so they need to take the railroads. That doesn't really matter. they got plenty of time to get over there. You know what? Let's force their asses to get a little bit closer at least. All right, and then... So we wanted 12 divisions assigned here. So we got five here. Let's give them... Hmm. I think, like, one more here if we did... Yeah, let's do six here. And then this guy here is going to be coming over to this front. I know that these are not great divisions, but we just need more over here. We need anybody over there, frankly, uh, to kind of help us out. And then we have all these divisions over here. Uh, so let's get them assigned. I think we need these two plus one more. So we got six assigned on each side. I don't know if that'll be enough to conquer this territory. 12 divisions. I suppose we'll wait and find out because I'm going to assign these guys on over to here. All right, excellent. So just trying to get more divisions over here to kind of help us out, take that territory. Uh, so still got these guys training and yeah, they just continue attacking us across here. Uh, and we did get cut off here. Damn it, I knew that was gonna happen. It's not surprising guys, absolutely not surprising that that ended up going down that way. But he's got supply, so he's just gonna stay here and they'll just take that over. I knew that that was gonna happen. So again, I'm like not surprised at all. Just waiting for these divisions to get over here. I almost want to attack here just to get this dealt with. We could do that. Just send everybody in here. Just to get this wrapped up. I know it's a mountain and a fortified province, but man, we gotta like thicken this up a bit, man. Because we got some problems. We did reconnect them here. Uh, which is un unexpected, but again, they're gonna yeah, they're gonna take those other provinces, so it's irrelevant. Uh, so did it reconnect into one? Yeah, it looks like it did. We have unfulfilled import requests. Tungsten from Argentina. How'd they lose? Did they change their laws or something? I don't know what happened because they didn't lose any territory here and we're actually building more tungsten there. So they must have changed their trade laws. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Uh, so we'll have to trade with somebody else. Uh, I guess the Greeks. Oh, yes, they're a puppet too. We can trade with the Australians, I guess. Yeah, we'll trade with the Australians. Help them out, give them a factory. They're doing a great job with their invasion of China. Uh, and they can always use more help because it looks like they're being pushed back a bit by the uh, combat turn. We need more divisions up on this front here. I think we can uh, afford to send like a couple over there. So that's what we'll do. Let's just go and take uh, any ones that are kind of doubled up over here. And uh, send them on over there. Because frankly, this is not enough. Let me take one of these guys here. There's the cruddy one. Move him over there. Same with this. Yeah, but we if they were to join the fight... God damn, man. That fucking banging, guys. I, I, when I was editing the video, you can definitely hear it. When I edited that last video, you can hear that shit, man. Or at least I could. I don't know if you guys can, but yeah. It's fucking loud, man. I was trying to wait for the wind to die down today because it was so loud uh, last time. But man, it's... It's not. <laughs> it's not dying down, guys. Uh, you can wait all day for the damn wind. Uh, but we've gotten a lot of convoys sunk over here. Uh, the submarines are just doing a fantastic job, man. I'm impressed with them. 
Uh, especially given the fact that their, their numbers are kind of waning a little bit. We've lost quite a few, unfortunately. Uh, what we might want to do is merge some of these once they're out of combat. Uh, I think these guys are currently... Okay, they were currently repairing, so we don't need to send any more just yet. Just need to get more divisions along this, this front here. Um, but yeah, we're just needing to get... You know what? We could get a win here. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, that's not going to be a win. Never mind. I thought it was. It looked like a win. I was wrong, though. So yeah, they're going to take this territory here. There's nothing to be done about it, guys. We eventually get it back. Uh, and we did sink one of their destroyers there. Uh, we did win there. Uh, did we win over here? Yes, we did. So we're going to push forward there now and grab that promise. And that was an air base, so that's actually going to be incredibly helpful uh, getting that into our hands. We got the green army all signed over here, and they're slowly kind of moving. Uh, let's go ahead and just start taking these... Uh, I prefer to get behind the mountain provinces, but yeah, that's going to be kind of hard to do. Closing this up here. Unless we were to do an attack here and just kind of s close it off from both sides. If we did that, then we could perhaps kill quite a few of them. Uh, and then what if we sent... I'm surprised we don't have any damn mountain troops over here. Oh, yeah. support with these guys. All right, so looking good. Uh, just kind of slowly getting divisions oh, across here. Let's see if we can attack these guys and lock them down for at least a short minute. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, yeah, that, that was not effective. That didn't lock them down very long at all, actually. All right. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. We could go ahead and send this division here. I think that's exactly what we'll do. Although, I, I know that, uh, you know, it's, it's only going to be so helpful. Uh, what we can do is also send the four divisions to get these guys up to 24. Send them over here to kind of help us out. We could use more divisions. And maybe right here. Oops. Ah, uh, whatever. That's fine. Alright, so again, they cut us off here. Uh, luckily, we have the port, so that's why we're just sitting in Valencia. And China has finally been called in the conflict. Okay, uh, right as I assigned fucking divisions over here. So that means they're not going to get there in time, more than likely to stop any attacks here. No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, so that's unfortunate. Um, but what we can do is just turn this all into one front. Though they're currently on the move, it's fine. But now that they're in, this can all be one front, and that's going to be a little bit easier to manage. And we can get this conquered so we can move that division. Uh, and I think we have a division over here. Yeah, we do. So let's go to get him moving up here. He's been there for a while. I should have moved him a long time ago. All right. Uh, so those guys are all getting to the locations. This guy here is not moved over here for whatever reason. I assume he's uh, concerned about supply. I assume that's the case. These guys are moving. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look and see. Uh, or he might have been worried also about the, the low convoy efficiency, perhaps. But yeah, just tons of planes that have been lost. Uh, I mean, it's worth it because we're sinking, you know, a very large number of uh, ships. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's costly, man. Getting hit kind of hard there. Uh, they haven't launched any of these naval invasions yet, or I haven't seen them launch anyways. Uh, I don't I don't know why they haven't yet, but yeah, I guess we'll just uh, wait and see what they do there. We need to get more divisions over here, man. It's just taking forever, and the supply is so garbage, man. Uh, they're having supply issues too, though, uh, so there's that. All right, so this guy's winning there. What we can do is go ahead and support that attack, and then also send a division over here. I know that leaves it kind of open, but that's all right. Uh, we have an air base here. We can move, like, a couple planes, too, I suppose. Uh, like, maybe move, because they're not getting great coverage there. Uh, so maybe move also to here. Uh, so let's let's go and do that. Let's go and move a fighter here, and then we'll move a close air support over to here. All right, fantastic. Uh, and the one plane that's here, that's not the one I moved right now, because we want him to stay here. Just for any attacks they end up doing against these divisions here. Make sure that we get the uh, the bonus there. Uh, and yeah, I've just continued to lose submarines, guys. Let me see if there's any submarines we can rearrange. Not really. Alright, I was trying to uh, move these guys around a bit. We do have these guys could, that could join. Yeah, these are level 3s. We won't have anybody join. It's fine. Alright, so let's see what we sunk here. Lots of more convoys and destroyers. Eventually, uh, and well, more American submarines too. Oh, we were gonna look at that, weren't we? Uh, last episode, and I forgot. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at the American fleet because I don't think we've looked at them this episode yet, or I mean, uh, since they declared war. Uh, so let's take a look. Uh, we actually have 100% naval dealt with them. Probably all those fightings, uh, all that fighting we've been doing. 
Uh, yeah, 20% from the naval combats. That's pretty big. Uh, but radar's helping as well. So they only have, well, they have 71 submarines left. They have 437 ships. They've got a massive submarine fleet. It's going to take a long time to get those destroyed. Uh, 16 battleships, 9 carriers. Yeah, this is quite the fleet, guys. We are vastly outnumbered in the seas. Just vastly outnumbered. It is so bad. I was trying to see if we could do any attacks here, but it doesn't look like it, guys. We might build a win there, but we'd have to attack across the river here. It'd probably be fairly devastating, but man, we could clear up. You know, I'm going to try this, guys. Let's see if we can't get the win here. All right, guys, my wife just came home from work, so I asked her to tape that down again. I forgot to tape it down before I recorded today. I, I Well, it doesn't really matter, because the last video I taped it down, and uh, I guess the tape came free <laughs> again, so... Uh, but basically what it is, it's like, um... So we have a outlet there. It looks like we won here. Okay, so we have an outlet uh, outside there, out back. And uh, the outlet has like a cover on it. And the cover doesn't snap shut anymore because it's broken. And so these guys are not moving over here. Let's go and force their butts too. Uh, but because the outlet or the uh, the cover for the outlet is broken whenever it uh, whenever it gets windy, which is all the time around these parts. Uh, whenever it gets windy, they end up. And it's a bang it up against the wall the whole time. It's just so loud. Again, I don't know if you guys can hear it. I could hear it, hear it when I edit the videos, but maybe I'm more, uh, uh, I don't know, cute to it because I'm listening. I'm listening for it, trying to hear it. So I'm more likely to hear it. I don't know. All right, so let's go and tack over this way. Uh, and we're going to bring more troops over here. Again, supply is just such a massive issue across this region. I'd love to get it fixed if we could. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, we're trying our best, but yeah, I'm not entirely sure how how to get it fixed. All right, we are winning here. If we had more divisions over here, we could, you know, invade this way. There's so many uh, open opportunities there we just can't take advantage of. Uh, so let's go and push forward here. I'm going to also go this way. We're going to bring this guy into Valencia. Just go ahead and start pushing forward, guys. I'm trying to get... I'd love to get Iberia knocked out this episode. I don't know if we'll do it. We'll get pretty close. If I wasn't looking at all these naval battles, we'd be making a lot faster time, guys, but... 10 destroyers, 2 light cruisers sunk there. But yeah, I, I really like looking at the naval battles. I know I've had some people say in, in videos they, they would prefer not to see them, but I like them, man. I like knowing how we're doing. We did win there. That's excellent. Uh, just make sure all of our troops have left this zone here in Africa. They have. Excellent. And also over here, they have as well. I don't know if our guys are getting engaged over here. No, it's our submarines. Just want to make sure our convoys aren't getting attacked because they're sending all these troops across. Uh, and hold up. Who is this? So Sierra Leone has British divisions there. Okay. Just want to make sure it's not anybody we had to worry about. Okay. So, let's take a look here. Get some convoys there. Okay. So just continue this attack here. Oh, yes. I forgot China joined the conflict. They're probably invading us right now. Uh, no, they're not taking advantage of this opportunity, uh, but they are taking advantage of me moving these troops out here <laughs> Now they're able to push back uh, Let's go and just give up that one. I just don't see a reason to hold on to that one And I don't think we're gonna be able to hold on to it frankly uh, They might not do any naval invasions here, so I'm almost considering I mean we're paying attention Let's just send all these divisions over here guys because we need more divisions. I know these aren't great divisions, but yeah, we got to do what we can Just try and get uh, more numbers up on that front uh, and then these guys are now coming over to this front. Uh, but yeah, I think we're going to lose all this territory, guys. Don't think there's any way around it. At the very least, what we'll try and do if we do lose it, uh, we'll try and, like, I mean, we can very easily defend this territory here. Uh, though we have to keep this victory point here if we want to keep those uh, that tungsten, which is absolutely necessary. So what we might have to do is get a defensive front going here. We'll see. We'll see if we can hold it. Uh, if we move more planes here, that would help. Uh, but I don't think we have any more planes frankly. Uh, well, we might have some close air support we can send here. Yeah, let's go and get some close air support coming on over here. I think that'd be helpful. Alright, so we'll get those guys going over here and seeing if uh, that helps. Alright. Got another uh, British destroyer sunk there. And uh, lost a submarine. Damn it. <laughs> We're losing a ton of submarines, guys. Just absolute ton of submarines. Uh, just seeing if uh, we can combine any at this moment. Yes, we can. Let's go combine these two. But again, I mean, that's that's what happens. You lose submarines. Speaking of losing submarines, there's another one we lost. It's just the way it is, guys. It's 
I'm gonna push forward over here. We just need more troops coming this way, man. Front is getting wide, quite wide. All right, so still winning there. Bring more troops over across here and uh, very close to where we can get these guys cut off here, but not quite there yet. Bye. I don't think we can win here. Oh, we can. All right, we'll go and take that then. Uh, I'll take that win. Could probably get a win here. Maybe cut some troops off here. Bye. Let's try that. Cut these guys off, whoever's here. Maybe just send... Oh, we actually got somebody there. Hold up. Attention. All right, so they're defending here. Yeah, this is great. This looks good. They are moving a division out. When does he get there? So I don't want to fight him. One day, nine hours. Hopefully we'll have the win by then. Uh, if not, we'll have to send him in here to attack. We we'll just have to pay attention. 3rd of October. That's when we want to make sure that we don't... Uh, Let's make sure that those guys don't uh, get out of there, because I want to cut them off, man. Sometime in the 3rd of October. In fact, we'll probably get there already. And, yeah, we're not there yet. So we're going to have to send just one division to attack here. Maybe two. Yeah, maybe we'll send two in. Just to make sure we keep them locked down while that division gets over here. Okay, so this is looking great. Yeah, it's going very well in Iberia. We just take a look here. We gotta keep on dipping down here, making sure that uh, take advantage of opportunities like here where we could easily get a win, and we don't have to attack across rivers. Because I'd love to get this territory knocked out. It'd be so helpful. Uh, let's go and attack over this way, Attention. and send some troops to support it. Okay, so that looks like a win, and we're slowly getting divisions over to these, you know, more vulnerable fronts. Uh, we need to get more divisions over this way, frankly. Uh, and I think that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and send this guy on over here. It's going to take him a long time to get here, so might as well send him now. Yeah, we are losing territory, guys. Damn it. I just don't think we're going to be able to hold on to all this. Not sure how the best way to do this would be, though. Deal's in me. And so we don't need to protect that front. Let's let them have that. Let's move on over to here. And then bring this guy over this way, and this guy over here, and then this guy stays here. I don't know, I'm just trying to just trying to keep control of that as long as we uh, can. God damn, guys, over here losing my voice and shit. All right, so I did want to dip over here and just take a look at how this front is going. I mean, yeah, if we pulled them in, I think we'd be able to win, but I want to get Iberia wrapped up first. I just don't see why we shouldn't it. And we could bring all this Red Army over there to really push forward and to like uh, focus on cutting divisions off and getting them destroyed. So yeah, I just, and we can also all of our Air Forces over here as well. So that's another thing to consider. Are we in the new zone yet? We're almost there. Uh, so we're gonna wanna bring at least uh, some fighters and some close air support over to here. And we could bring uh, more uh, planes right there as well. So let's go ahead and move the ones that are in the back here first. Let's move these guys. There's not a lot of room there. So for now, that's all we're going to be able to do uh, is just those close air support there. And then with the uh, next close air support, let's move them over to here. Get a little bit closer. Yeah, that's good. Let's kind of slowly take their air region, uh, or their, excuse me, slowly take their air bases. Uh, so these guys are now cut off. Let's get them destroyed. Let's go and push forward here where we can. Okay, and it's just stretching the front out, just causing them all kinds of issues. Try and get across this river while we can. I don't know if we'll beat this guy. Uh, nope, I'm not beating him. He's getting there for two hours. It's two hours away. Uh, so yeah, there's no way we're going to get there in time. A lot of divisions across here, guys, and not much of our own divisions. Uh, frankly, we're still in a vulnerable position where they could cut us off right now. So let's go ahead and actually try and stop these guys while we get more divisions over here. Okay, so let's go ahead and take that province, I suppose. And we'll take the air base as well. Removing their air bases will ensure we keep control of the skies there. And I uh, got another convoy sunk there. Still winning across here. Just I'm always looking for little opportunities where we can attack here. Uh, so far there hasn't really been any. I, I'm really wondering where the hell those American divisions were going. I don't know, but it is a bit concerning. Uh, looks like we did end up winning there. Okay, I'll take that. Again, I don't expect for him to hold on to this, all this territory, guys. Yeah, this guy's just going to go ahead and stop that attack if we don't want. We'll hold on to it when we can, make him fight us, uh, slow him down a bit. But yeah, I do expect we're going to lose that territory. And, uh, looks like they have enough divisions to cover most of their provinces, so maybe I'm not sending it enough over there. Maybe I'm not taking them serious enough, especially considering the fact that we're, we're sending cruddy divisions. Uh, so, that'll be a problem. Just going to get this guy's keep trying to go over here. Who are you? Is it this one? 
Alright, so let's go and, I mean, he won't be cut off, but we'll attack over there. Let's go attack those guys. That's an easy win. Alright, so still trying to attack these guys here. I don't think it's probably necessary. Yeah, it's still going to be necessary. Uh, well, hmm, maybe they're moving over to here rather than here because they're not attacking those divisions. We haven't got this wrapped up yet, and the divisions are getting out. Damn it. Alright, so that sucks. thought we had this. Apparently not. Good God, guys. Alright, so they did take that uh, area there. Alright, um, let's send some more divisions in then. I'm trying to get this win here. Yeah, they took that, that air base from us. We had some planes there. Alright, so these guys are now cut off. They're going to try and get out. And we're not going to allow that to happen. Yeah, I'm thicken this up. Let's go and attack over here with these guys and attack over here with these guys. Make sure they go this way. We'll attack right there. Alright, so Red Front is stretching out. And let's send these guys to get there fast. Let's see if they're going to leave now. It looks like it's just that one division leaving. He's already been defeated, so... Alright, he gets there in uh, 12 hours. How long until these guys get there? We sent them like forever ago. Alright, so yeah, they'll get there pretty quick. Alright. Still supply issues up there, uh, unfortunately. Winning over here, no supply issues here though. So that's good. Should get that airbase back soon, mere moments. And uh, let's see what this is here. Okay. Just doing a little bit of bombing. Sunk a submarine there. Alright, so let's go and just attack all across here. Just continue to try and get all their territory taken. And we have a new airbase open up, so let's go and send some planes. Actually, it looks like we have several airbases uh, that are kind of freed up here. Uh, so let's go ahead and get all these planes moving. I don't know where that plane went that we just had, uh, but it looks like this one's uh, stacked up, so I'm assuming that this is where he moved uh, to. So let's go and move him over here. Get a bit more fighter support there. Should have moved some close air support over here. Uh, we could always move this guy, but he's pretty close to the front. Let's move somebody that's further in the back here. Uh, let's go and get this guy going over here. All right, looking good. I think I accidentally moved the fighters that were here. I mean, it's not entirely necessary to ha still have fighters here, but we will. All right, just kind of stretches out some, trying to get uh, some of that taken. And also we have a bit more room, I think. I did just move some over here, but I don't know how many I moved. Hopefully it wasn't too many. Uh, let's go ahead and get... I think we have close air support here. Yeah, we move those guys. Let's move these guys. Get 400. So 900, 400. That's how it'll look. And we sunk a British submarine there. Just right, so taking that, defending across here. Want to get across this, but just don't have the divisions. We did destroy these guys. Or excuse me, cut, cut them off. We haven't destroyed them yet. Still got to work on that. Alright, so let's get them destroyed now. Get this wrapped up here. All right, beautiful. All right, so still not very thick, thick here. Uh, I need to add some girth to this damn front. All right, so this one guy here is gonna go this way. He's gonna try and just get these guys here surrounded, and then let's go and get across the river there. Let's keep on pushing the front forward with these really lightning fast. Uh, tank divisions that we have and not aggression pack from Columbia. We will accept that and it looks like we're just losing planes, man uh, Is it is this like we don't have control of the skies? Is that the issue? Yeah, they have a ton of fighters. That's what the problem is here <sighs> Yeah, man the fighter situation we need more fighters here like desperately uh, So do we have fighters? Let me just take a look uh, How we're doing I assume yeah, those are all old fighters I think what we're gonna do is just go and move these guys here and, and we need we need more planes here so more fighters. So hopefully, if we prioritize that, we'll have uh, more success there. Lose less planes. I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> but we'll try. We'll try, guys. All right. So this has been wrapped up. Excellent news. Uh, and we are winning across here. Let's go and get these guys moving over to here. And I'm gonna see if I can't win there. We can, even though he's kind of weak. Let's go and push forward there. Uh, and let's go and wrap this up. Push forward across here. We're gonna beat that division. Get this one destroyed. And let's just go ahead and push forward across this territory here. Just they don't have anybody down here. 
It's just uh, absolutely devastating for them. They just can't uh, they can't defend against us, man. We're just moving too fast down here, and they're all stuck up here, uh, which is ca causing them like massive issues. Just seeing where we can uh, maybe perhaps cut some more divisions off. I really want to push forward here, but man, we, we don't have enough divisions right here. Uh, one tank division ain't gonna be able to do it, guys. I mean, maybe if we attacked, no, uh, I think that might be a river penalty, I don't know. Looks like we'll win it, so we'll go ahead and push forward there then. All right, so he's wrapping that up, he's wrapping that up. Everything's looking good. All right, so let's go ahead and move along the coast here, try and get this territory while we can. We're going after Madrid. This guy's gonna come over here and grab that province for us. All right, yeah, this is going quite well, guys. They should be knocked out of this war in no time. Winning there, taking that province. And not seeing any other openings here just yet. Tanking us there. We're getting to the point where we are stretching the front out to the point where we're going to have trouble covering this too if we don't get these guys defeated soon. I want to get Gibraltar. Let's grab that. That's going to be so helpful. Uh, that's going to free up our divisions to be able to kind of move as they will. We have Madrid now. That's excellent news. Uh, but we're not even close to having the capitulate yet because there's a lot of territory left here. Uh, so we don't want to do the recruit one. So let's just go and say we're not interested in that. All right, I'm just kind of dip around, see if we're having more success here. Oh man, three submarines, four submarines. Good God, guys, we are losing so many submarines right now. And this is like key to our efforts to getting them uh, uh, destroyed here because not only are they sinking convoys, which are troops, uh, but that also allows our bombers, because they, they send their ships over to destroy our submarines, that allows our bombers to uh, to bomb them. Uh, and we're just not building submarines quick enough, clearly. Uh, so, hmm. I think what we're going to do here, guys, send these guys over here. Make them a shark. So we know what, how old they are. These are level threes. And then set them on the uh, convoy raid. And we need more, more, more submarines here, guys. And then what I think we're going to do, just trying to see here. I mean, we can send these guys on patrol. We can patrol in more regions, I suppose. But again, I'm trying to get uh, control here so we can bomb here before we actually patrol there. Yeah, that's probably for the best. And these guys are bombing here. They got terrible range, by the way. Yeah, two more submarines lost there. Good God. Yeah, we're losing so many submarines. Because, you know, you're going to lose submarines, and it's just the way it is. But, like, there's a difference between, like, losing submarines and then, you know, losing a few and then losing all of your submarines. We're not going to get there in time. Which is exactly what's happened right now. We're just losing all of our submarines. We have a bit of resistance as well. In Venezuela, we have high resistance. Don't really anything to be done about it, guys. Uh, we, we're only using 60,000 troops for our garrisons right now. This is going terrible. <laughs> we're going to get cut off soon if we don't hurry up and get Attention. somewhere. Yeah, these guys are all trying to move here. This is just ugly, man. Thus far, I don't feel the need to... Uh, change what we're doing just yet but soon we might have to guys to protect uh, this key victory point here we got more divisions that had did arrive here those two uh, you know reserve divisions which aren't great we might just have to give this all up guys we are overstaffed here as well so that's gonna cause us problems uh, but we can move uh, some over to here uh, so let's go and do that let's go and get the uh, close support that's here Move them over to here, I guess. Yeah, you know what, guys? I think this is uh, this is time. I'm going to move back. <sighs> yeah, I don't think we're going to control this anymore, man. I was hoping to hold it, but yeah, we're in a point. Where we're just going to lose everything if we try and try and defend all this. So let's go and pull back and just defend here. And all these guys will get the hell out of there. Let's go, man. Get out of there. Uh, and we'll just try and cover this this territory here do what we can we'll probably lose this air base here uh, but we can always move them back here we'll keep them there for now until we actually lose it yeah I knew we were gonna have trouble there in uh, Indochina it is what it is guys that's a ton of steel we're gonna lose a lot of steel that's over there so that's gonna hit us kind of hard I imagine but I think we're pretty much good on steel though now that I think about it keep thinking that Portuguese series man we've had some major steel issues in that one uh, unfulfilled import request. Australia no longer has 
uh, the tungsten we need. Uh, so we'll have to trade with somebody else. Yeah, I guess we'll just have to trade with the Greeks. They are a puppet, so I, I didn't want them to go free, but we can do a little bit of trade with them. I'm sure it's fine. All right, so let me just make sure all these troops here are uh, getting trained up. Yeah, we have these guys training. Got these ones training. And those ones don't need to. Just want to make sure when we do that attack that we have, uh, you know, the best troops possible. And more convoys sunk. All right, so yeah, not not really seeing a lot of uh, attacks we can do here. And bring both of them over there. We got the diplomatic training. Uh, so is there anything else that we really need to get? Um, you know, this would be uh, useful. I guess we'll get that one. Yeah, I think this one we'll get next. We could always start with the machine assisted encryption, but man, that's 15 uh, civilian factories. Uh, but yeah, you know what? We'll do undo the invisible ink. This doesn't make your operatives more effective, uh, or the intel from your op operatives more effective. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, go towards Sabia now. Just try and get all this con territory uh, conquered. We need to close it off here, uh, so let's go ahead and actually attack right there, because that should be a win. And let's send this guy over this way. Go ahead and attack here, even though uh, this is, you know, we're not going to win. The point is to get the defense there. Let's try and cut off those troops there. And I'm going to try and break through here, guys. Try and make that shit happen. I'm going to pull this guy back. Have him come over this way. Clearly not going to work, so we'll just defend here. We got a uh, dockyard. Let's go and get that assigned. They haven't got any dockyards for a while. That's right, we're building dockyards. We got to put them into submarines, guys. The submarine situation is terrible. Just absolutely terrible. I'm seeing if there's any ones we can combine here. Not quite yet. Not quite yet, guys. All right, got the uh, convoy sunk there. Let's just see how we're doing in Indochina. We'll pull with this, uh, this retreat that we're doing. Still winning there. This would be a nice uh, province to have. So I'm going to go and take it. If we can get there in time. Because it shortens the front a bit. I'll send that guy over there. Alright, so yeah, slowly pulling these divisions Easy, back. Yeah. This guy's going to get cut off if he doesn't hurry his butt back over here. I'd love to grab this probably. Let's see if we can grab that one. And then have the front go this way. We'll see, guys. Alright, so we have a uh, sunken four British submarines. One destroyer, and one more, and some convoys. And we lost planes. <laughs> Seems to be a theme here, and we lost another submarine. Okay. So we have that open again, uh, so let's go to move our planes over there. I uh, know that we've taken that airbase once again, uh, and we just see where we want to bring them. Uh, so we don't have any more planes over there. Uh, so let's go and get this close air support coming over here. Make sure he's there. And uh looks like we're losing a lot of fighters too, man. Yeah, it's just been uh the the air war has been tough, man. They've got a lot of a lot of planes at this moment. Attack over this way. Get these guys attacking over here. Get another division over to the capital. And then I'm gonna try and attack here because that will reduce the size of the front by two, so it'll be really helpful. I don't know if he'll win. He will, so we'll send it. Uh, and we've almost got these guys cut off, man, so let's go ahead and try and get this done, then. And then we're going to send this guy over to here. Oh, nope. Well, maybe we can attack there and get a win. Ah, not really, but we'll try it. Try it out. Try and reduce this a little bit. Alright, so still trying to win there. Alright, so we just about got him cut off, man. Just about. Uh, we can go ahead and send an attack over here, because that should be a win. We'll support with them, even though they lack an organization. And we're going to attack across that river, guys. I feel like we can win that one. Alright, just looking for other attacks to be done here. This is open here. I don't know if we'll get there in time. We'll see. And we have this guy go here. Again, organization is an issue uh, for some of these divisions down here. This guy can support that attack, I think. No, he can't. Okay. It looked like he was uh, touching, but apparently not. Alright, let's go ahead and have one stay there. Have these guys attack over this way. Alright, so we did win there. Excellent news. Alright, beautiful. 
just beautiful. This is what I wanted to see. Let's oh, start yeah. the attack, guys. Let's go ahead and get all of our divisions attacking across here while yeah, they're cut they off all. and try and get these guys here destroyed. Attention. Think we so we're attacking over that way uh, and attacking right there. Let's have another division go over there. All right, so just trying to get these guys completely wiped out as soon as we can. All right, so that looks great. Um, I don't think we need to do anything else over here. So we have to make sure they don't uh, reconnect this. We'll see if that ends up working out for us. I thought Italy was in all our wars. Apparently not. We'll go ahead and make sure that they they join and uh, see what this one's about. Two Soviet convoys sunk. Okay, uh, we did get military factories from that uh, in Iberia, I think, or one military factory. I think I don't I don't actually know where that came from, but uh, so looks like we're having some. Let me just take a look. Are we having fighter shortages? Well, no, we're not having fighter shortages. It's just the naval bombers, which are, are fairly short. Uh, so let's go ahead and put more factories into them. Uh, and then we'll take a look, see if we're doing good on resources. We are. We're lacking oil, though. Having some oil problems. So let's go ahead and trade for a bit more from the Iranians. I don't know how well that's going to help. Uh, and we'll take the non-aggression pact offer as well. Got a destroyer sunk there. Another one there. All right, so this is still losing lots of planes, guys. And two more American submarines, which I don't know where the Americans are going. I'm really curious where they're going here. They still have control here, so it's, they're definitely not going to Asia. Yeah, they gotta be going around here. I mean, they can't send troops. Oh. Oh, I see. They must have military access. Oh, that's devastating. That means we're gonna be getting attacked. Oh, man. So all that progress we made over here, guys, we might end up losing territory now because the Americans are helping. I was wondering where they are going. That's where they were going. All right. We're going to need more troops over there, guys, and we really need to get this done with, too, to free up troops. Uh, we will get it done in the 23rd of February. It's going to be a while. Damn it. And I don't even know if we can get it done. I don't know if we have enough troops over there. Well, we're building more. Uh, let's take a look at our, e our equipment situation see what we can build. Do we have the artillery situation dealt with? Good enough to build some more troops. How about the tanks? Uh, we got medium tanks. How about light tanks? We got light tanks as well. All right, so let's go ahead and get another Lancer. I like the speed of the light tanks, so I do still build them kind of late here. Uh, and we can also get some more of the uh, Austrian Hungary. Uh, I guess we'll call them Austrian divisions now uh, because we were calling them Austria. Uh, we were calling Austria Hungary the Hungarians, but now I'm going to call them Austrians because we formed this one. So we'll get uh, more of those, and we need some more of our 40 width division designs here, the Grand Army. Let's get, uh, what are we lacking? Yeah, we can get one. <laughs> That's great. We'll get one here, guys. Uh, get them assigned over here. Although, I don't know if we, yeah, we still have the training army here. Okay, excellent. Let's get some more troops uh, popping out Bye. if we can. All right. So, yeah, all these divisions here are cut off. Uh, let's go ahead and, well, you know what? I'm going to get across the river if we can. This guy's coming over here to stop them. Let's go and attack and make sure we get there first. I don't want them to reconnect this. Let's go and go this way instead. It's clearly not winning right there. Uh, we are winning here, winning there, winning there, uh, losing there. Okay. Let's make sure that this guy stays over here. Oh, he won't be needed. That's right. Let's have him go over here then instead. And we did get one of our tanks cut off, so that's unfortunate. But looks like we're... Hmm. Should be able to connect him here soon. Let's get him reconnected, guys. And let's get this territory here taken. Let's get across that river. All right, looking great. And we never did use our thing against Spain, so let's use it now be a great time to use it when we're trying to wipe these guys out. Probably should have used it before that, but I forgot we had it against Spain. Uh, so this will give us a much better uh, uh, rates of success here, I think. All right, so we're going to get those guys reconnected. Got more war support from our great pilots. Let's go ahead and have these guys attack over this way now. Just kind of maybe we'll cut these guys off here. Looks like that's a possibility that can, we can definitely make happen. Uh, they're attempting to take our territory there. All right, well, it'll, it'll be easy to cut them off if they do take that territory there. Bye. All right, let's go and tack up this way now. Let's get these guys here wiped out. Bye. And I don't think that's going to be a success. Maybe. 
Yeah, we might be able to get it done. Alright, so try and cut these guys off here. Uh, see where else we can help out. Uh, the Red Army here. Let's just delete this front here, give them a new one. Have them go this way. Alright, excellent. Push forward across this open territory here. We did reconnect those tanks. That's great news. Uh, let's go ahead and push forward and let them get cut off again. <laughs> and uh, still pushing forward here, pushing forward there, and getting that territory. Uh, let's go ahead and grab that one. I'm not even going to bother to check how far away they are from capitulating because I expect that it's probably still pretty far away, guys. And let's have these guys. Actually, these two. Make sure they come on over to this one. And these guys can come over to this one. Yeah, so, you know what? We're going to lose here, so might as well stop that. That's not going to work. Can go ahead and attack right there. We have somebody else going, but I don't know how long it's going to take to get there. You know what? We'll just go to this one. Let's go over here. Maybe we'll get this guy cut off. We'll see. Actually, you know what? I prefer going there if we can beat him. 21 hours? Probably not. But you know what? We can just go here. Maybe we'll get these guys cut off. With an attack there. So this way, because these divisions are now cut off. Excellent, yeah, this is going lovely, guys. Alright, so he's going over that way. Let's go attack here. Attention. Send these guys across here. Alright, looking pretty good. Um, going up that way. Let's go and have these guys attack here. I know we could try and cut them off, but you know, I'd prefer to just kind of reduce the size of the front here right now. Let's go here, and let's go and start taking this territory. All right, so we should probably dip over some other territory. I've been, uh, you know, focusing on Iberia for a while. So let's just make sure that uh, we're not losing anywhere, uh, not missing anything. And in fact, we're probably gonna go ahead and end the episode here, guys. We made it about, uh, we got about a month here, um, but still, I feel like we made good progress as far as like territory taken. It sucks that we're gonna be losing territory here now with the Americans, Ugh. but it looks like they're taking heavy supply uh, problems there. So I'd rather have them help out here in Brazil than invade our coastline. Uh, so that's actually better. Uh, remember all of our oil was up there in Venezuela, so that'd be devastating if we lost it. Uh, let's see how we're doing here. We're able to gain that uh, territory right there. Uh, I don't know if we can get, it looks like we should be able to. What I'm gonna do is just defend here then. And I'd like to build a little front line here just to, to cover where I want to stop them. I wonder if we can do this. Let's let's take a look, guys. Let's see if we can't get a, a fallback line that goes across here. Where we can defend across rivers, if you know what I mean, man. And in fact, we could probably defend like this. So let's see how many divisions we need to cover this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we need seven divisions. I'm gonna see if we can't make it happen, guys. And we'll send out uh, creditor divisions, uh, you know, because that's not as important up front. But yeah, I'm gonna see if we can't uh, can't cover this this zone here. All right, so these are all Italian. We want them to get a little bit closer. Let them entrench up. We got five over there. Uh, let me see how many are assigned currently. Okay, so these guys would want to go up that way probably. Attention. I'll send these guys here. Oh, doesn't really matter. All right, we'll send them over there. We already did send them over there. Okay. All right, that's seven. All right, so we'll cover that zone right there. Let's see how this goes. Uh, then we have 13 divisions assigned to this, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so should be good. Hopefully we'll kind of stabilize the front there. We'll see how things go. Uh, and just make sure we got all our divisions over here. We could go ahead and make, sh make use of this guy to make sure we win here. I think that's exactly what we'll do. Let's go ahead and send another division over there. Help them out and uh, Everything else looks pretty good here, guys. Well, we'll take a look at the casualties here and see how we've done over this month. We're now up to 55,000 casualties. Uh, 20 of that has been against the Iberians, 10,000 against the Chinese, 7,000 against the Soviets. Uh, the, just scroll up, see their casualties. Okay, I've taken 14.57 million. Wow, that's insane. Uh, the British are almost to a million now. We did 662,000 of that. Well, they've only done 7,000. Uh, the Soviets, we've killed 726,000. Again, they've done uh, 7,000. Uh, the Brazilians, they've done, uh, we've done 1.8 thousand, so not much, uh, but it doesn't look like they've done much to us either. Just take a look. Some of the other countries we've been fighting. Uh, 10,000 there. 
none here against China because we just joined against them. Obviously, 74,000 against Yugoslavia. Uh, the Metskins, we've killed uh, 77,000. 3,000 there. Yunnan is 44,000 compared to the... Where are they at? 3,000 for them and what they've done to us. The Iberians are currently 75% torch capitulation. I want to get them defeated in this episode. We just didn't make it, though. Um, but we killed uh, 563,000 of theirs. Well, they've killed 20,000 of ours. We need 3,000 Mongolians. Communist China has lost 12, thir almost 13,000 to us. 9,000 there. And the United States, we've killed 25,000 of theirs. Well, they have not, not even registered on here just yet. And don't have a high enough number. Okay, so they are in our faction. So it's uh, Peru and Argentina. I was thinking Chile joined us, but that's right. They joined the West Pacific Treaty Organization. Okay, so that makes sense. Uh, so as far as operatives go, I believe if we get one more uh, one more country into our, our faction, then we'll get uh, then we'll get another operative. Uh, again, it's got to be an independent uh, country. And it looks like we are having some serious activity here. Our count to intel is just not high enough. Uh, we do have an operative here. I didn't know I had an operative there. Uh, oh, that's because he took the territory in Spain, so we're not working against Spain anymore. Okay, um, I know the counter intel, having a counter intel guys, they're helpful, but yeah, I, I feel like, I feel like we're probably going to move this guy. Start working on the, the Soviets, perhaps. Uh, have we worked on, we haven't worked on Brazil yet, we could also start working on the Americans. I'd love to hear your guys' input. Where do you think we should put this, this uh, operative here? Uh, Austerlitz. Uh, where should we move him to? Uh, a lot of options. Uh, we could also do something other than uh, building intel networks. Uh, we could try and do diplomatic pressure on another country. Uh, remember, they can't be democratic. They have to be not aligned if we ever want to hope to get them into the faction. Uh, as of right now, I'm seeing if there's anything we can do here to get them into the faction. They're negative 302. I really don't think we're going to get Turkey in. Somebody asked about them. Uh, that's, that's very unlikely. Uh, here we could get them in if the Soviets declare war, uh, but otherwise they we won't be able to. Uh, yeah, we're just too low. I mean, we could do the non-aggression pact with them, and even guarantee their independence, and that would help. Uh, but it's not going to be enough. No. Yeah, we can try and work on that. Uh, we could also do Afghanistan, uh, and if we guarantee their independence, although we probably don't have, yeah, we don't have the uh, political power to do it. We could do that as well. We could improve relations here, but that wouldn't impact it much. Yeah, we can only get it so much higher. So yeah, I don't think... Yeah, I don't think we'll be able to get them into the faction either, unless the Soviets declare war on them. Uh, so what we might want to go and do is, is uh, do the guarantee here. And I'm at the end of the episode, guys. I'm over here distracted. Let's let's end it here. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do hope to see you on the next episode. Uh, which will be on Sunday here. Uh, so in, in that Sunday episode, we'll get Spain knocked out and then start working on invasions of the Soviets and the British. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.